Hi Jose, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about one of the problems that many black women are facing today. It's called fibroids. Now, I want to talk on this topic because I am also a person who has multiple fibroids and um, I'm a bit reluctant to remove them at this time. The reason being, um, they don't bother me. With the exception of, okay, yeah, look at me, I look like I'm expecting, but I'm not. <laughs> I have two boys. I'm really not interested in having any more kids. So immediately, um, persons who go, well, you know, having them removed, um, since you don't want to have any kids, a doctor, a few doctors recommended that I just remove my uterus and the only doctor that I've spoken to and I've spoken to around 10 of them I've only had one female throughout this whole thing um, she was the only one who said if they don't really bother you you don't have to remove them all of the males they were quick to tell me since you don't want to have any more kids you should remove them you should just remove your uterus I have a problem with that. For me personally, I find that I've done a lot of reading and it's a lot of black women who suffer from this unfortunate problem. And studies, enough studies haven't been done on this. So immediately they recommend removing it. What happens after you remove them? How does it affect your hormones? How does it affect you mentally? Um, over the summer when I traveled, I was amazed to see the number of women I spoke to who within the last two years have removed their uterus because of doctor's recommendation, because they have fibroids. I am going to tell you it's not an easy fit. On a normal basis, it does not affect me, other than I look as if I'm pregnant, so I'm not as flattering in my clothing as I used to be, but um, I just don't want to go under, <laughs> and I don't want to be sliced at this time. Uh, it has affected me negatively where I had a miscarriage because of the fibroids became extremely active when I was carrying and um, I lost the baby whilst four, almost five months pregnant. I had um, a spontaneous birth at home. So after him, it was a boy, um, my next pregnancy, I was placed into high risk and um, they had to inject me every other week to reduce the activity of my uterus. It was a steroid and I was classified as having an active uterus, so it can, which means it contracts and causes me to go into spontaneous um, delivery. So, and it helps because I have a beautiful seven-year-old. Um, it was a real struggle. I really fought that battle. And every week I went for that steroid shot. And every time I look at him, I'm like, you are blessed. I know you really fought to be here with me today. So, and I appreciate him for that. I really do. And I appreciate medicine for that. Um, but tell me your thoughts. What do you think about fibroids? Do you think every time you hear you need to remove it, you take that in it, you know, you want to just do that? Um, I know some people get offended when people look at them and ask them how far along they are. I've actually had um, an instance where a guy was like, oh, congratulations. And me being sarcastic, I said, oh, thank you. So he saw me 
funny enough, at the airport, we were on the same flights traveling. And he's like, oh, where's your son? Because I went into one of the stores to pick up some duty-free liquor for a friend of mine. And he goes, where's your son? And I said, he's over there sitting. He said, oh, where's the baby? I asked, which baby? He said, yeah, I said, congratulations to you. I said, you made an assumption. And as he said, assume. That was my funny take on that. So um, today, I, I actually wanted to talk about it today because um, someone stopped me again. She said, oh, you're expecting? I'm like, no. So then I felt compelled. This is how it makes you feel sometimes. I felt compelled to explain to her that, you know, as a woman, I have fibroids. Then she goes on to tell me, yeah, you need to remove them. I couldn't walk around looking like that. I'm like, that's your personal choice. I have no problem with that. Like, don't think you should have a problem with me walking around looking as if I'm pregnant. Have you ever felt pressured to remove your fibroids because of public opinion?